Now you're about to find out how a pediatrician came to care for children around the world. Dr. Helene Gale is the first woman and first African American to head the Atlanta-based international aid agency CARE. Her determination to reach the top started at a very early age. I went into the calculus class, wanted to take calculus, and the teacher said, well, sorry, all the chairs are full. If you can find a seat, you're welcome to be part of the class, but, um, you know, there aren't any seats left. I went outside and found a chair and dragged it in and said, well, I guess uh, you have to take me now, so... <laughs> Growing up in Buffalo, New York, Dr. Helene Gale says her parents, her mom was a social worker and her dad owned his own business, encouraged all of their five children to succeed. Give me an example of how when you were younger, you know, maybe as a child, how your parents not only set the example, but had you do it. After church, my father would take us visiting the elder people in the, in the um, congregation who couldn't get out to church. Uh, something that simple that just said, you know, part of what you should do is to think about other people and think about other people's needs. Um, my mother was somebody who was very involved in the community and was always very, you know, community oriented. She brought students students by the house, students from all over the world. So I think early on we all developed a sense of uh, this big world and, and the fact that they're real people who live outside of uh, the United States borders. Her love of children led Helene to become a pediatrician. She then took on international health issues. At Atlanta Center for Disease Control and Prevention, she became renowned for her work on AIDS education. At the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in Seattle, Dr. Gale was in charge of a billion dollar health grant program. Then she got an offer to take over CARE here in Atlanta. CARE is an acronym for Cooperation for Assistance and Relief Everywhere. <laughs> when most people think of CARE, they think of it as war-torn areas you go right. in and taking in food or little children who appear to be starving to death. What is CARE now? Well, you know, it's not surprising that people think that because that's how we started. You know, CARE started 61 years ago giving out care packages to people after World War II. We do that same sort of humanitarian work, but most of our work now is on fighting poverty and looking at long-term approach to changing people's lives, people who are the poorest to the poor around the world. And the big campaign right now is I am powerful. Talk about that for a minute. Well, that's our campaign that really looks at how can women in this country join hands with women around the world and really look at the, the issue of how do you empower women um, because when you change a woman's life, you don't just change that woman's life, but you change her family, uh, her community, and you know, ultimately that's the way that we're gonna have the most long-lasting impacts. It's a huge challenge, but Dr. Helene Gale is used to tackling tough issues. How did you deal with those people who looked at you and said, what's a woman doing here and a black woman in particular? I focus more on what I want to get accomplished than what anybody around me may be thinking and not being oblivious to the fact that being a woman, um, being African American can sometimes be an obstacle in other people's minds. I don't let it be an obstacle in mine.